Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing yet another fragrance unboxing. We have the Nautica Voyage. Before that, we have the, the, the Eros um, by Versace. And now we have um, Aqua de Gio Perón by Giorgio Armani. So let's do this. All right. I just picked this baby up at Sephora. Um, I smelled a lot of them. All the I smelled the YSL, the Dior, uh, all the Dior ones, all the Chanel ones. Um, but I decided on this one. Um, I did smell all the Aqua de Geos. They had like four of them. They had Aqua de Geo, Aqua de Geo, Aqua de Geo Profumo, Aqua de Geo Profondo, and Aqua de Geo Absolute. Um, I thought I had Water Profondo, but it was too expensive. So this was originally $75, but I got $10 off because you need at least 500 points on the Sephora app to get 10 bucks off. Meaning if you have 1,000 points, you get $20 off. You know, if you have 3,000 points, you get $30 off, and so forth. So, it was, subtotal was 65 bucks, tax was 666, so it was $71.66, so it didn't run me too much. Um, so yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, ooh, I can do a survey and enter for a $250 gift card. Nice. Anyway, so yeah, that's the receipt. I'm going to do the survey later and I can enter for a chance at a $250 gift card. A, a little voucher, I guess. Um, I got a penny here. I don't know what for, but I do. So four back. Quickly. Anyway, got that. And of course, we got the fragrance. Um, I could have afforded the 100 mil. Um, I'm pretty sure it was, it was like... I would like to say the 100 mil was like 90 bucks, 100 bucks. Um, I personally have like $103, but then I spent some of it at Dunkin', so I have like 97, 98 left over. But yeah, so presentation of the box, very nice. So it says Aqua de Geo, and then Giorgio Armani there. Um, the Geo is pretty big. This is the at a toilette, poor home. The 50 mil, 1.7 ounce bottle. Let's open this baby up. And I can I can still smell a ton of fragrance on my hands. Alright, here we go. Let's do this very carefully. Very carefully indeed. Oh. And let's take that off. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice textured box. As we can see, that's what it says there. The Aqua de Geo EDT by Giorgio. I don't know how to pronounce the first name. I think it's Giorgio Armani. I can't really. I think the box is like scented. I don't know. And this came out, I believe, in 1996. So this fragrance is 26 years old. It's over two and a half decades old. Um, I believe the year before, that's when uh, La Mal came out. Uh, La Mal came out by John Paul Gattier, so the 90s was a pretty big, innovative year for fragrance. But anyway, let's open this baby up. Oh yeah, so, so happy for this. And let's get that little, we got that little gray pull tab. Let's take... Yeah, I'm not gonna even look. You guys are gonna see the cap the first time ever, even before me. Actually, okay, I was gonna shut my eyes. I saw already. Hear that? There's the fragrance. All right, let's take it out. Oh, it seems super small. I don't know why, but it seemed like really small. Um, I think they had the 100 mil in the store. It seemed much, much, much bigger than this. Okay, here it is. Look, Clay. It doesn't seem like super small. Yeah, man. It's weirdly small. All right, and this is the 50 mil, apparently, but this looks more like a one-ounce bottle. But, eh, I don't know. I I guess. I mean, but, like, for instance, for instance, I have two 50 mils. I have Eros by Versace, which... So I almost got Eros Flame, but I'm like, I already have Eros, so, like, I'm not going to do that. Like, look at this. Tell me that the Eros doesn't look a lot bigger than this. Even though this one's tall, this one's so much wider. And like when I hold this in my hand, it feels heftier than when I hold this. And now let's compare it to like an 100 mil like Nautical Voyage. Oh, 
crazy. Okay, anyway, so here's the presentation. Super simple and elegant bottle. It says Aqua de Gio by Giorgio Armani on there. Has the nice gray cap, has your batch code down below. Just a gray or colorless, like see through bottle. Get to see all that nice juice in there. Nice little gray cap. Let's see, is it? Uh, it's not metallic or it's not um, magnetic. Um, there it is. Let's see how it smells. Alright, so always, um, I don't know the reason, I probably just kind of searched it up and told you guys a fun fact, but you know, the sprayer's always turned on a fragrance, I'm sure there's some reason for that, but we're going to turn that towards us and give it a smell. Ah, okay, so it does suck because I can't really smell it through the vaporizer, maybe um, also when I spray it on later, I'll see, but yeah, I can't really smell that, um, but that's alright. Uh, the cap's a bit weird. It's like, there we go. Okay. I don't know, the cap is a little bit off. But there is, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Aqua de Geo by Georgia Rabati. Super cool fragrance. Currently, I have Versace Eros Phantom. That's my Paco Rabanne, and then I bought like a Voyage all in my room. And I have like five other fragrances in my bathroom. I'm probably going to move the Phantom and put this in in its place. But, um, yeah, so, uh, Santano gave this a 9 out of 10, which is pretty good. And yeah, it's Aqua de Gio. See you guys. Oh, and make sure to subscribe, like, turn on post notice. New fragrance. And you'll get a video tomorrow of me applying it for the first time. Um, this. The 50 mil will run you about 75 bucks, by the way, without any coupons. All right. Peace.